What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to bring you guys Redshift RT, aka Redshift Real Time. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the brand spanking new Cinema 40 R25 that just came out today. You can see I have a scene already built out in here. I have some Mega Scans assets, and then I have these new assets. Actually, let me bring up this website. Now I'm not being paid or sponsored by these guys, but I found this new pack. It's a bunch of kit bashing stuff. It's called Asset Smash. And if I scroll down here to the bottom, we actually have some free sample kits in which I'm using the fantasy kit right there. And so I thought that was cool. I put that into my scene here just to kind of test everything out. And so it does come with default Cinema 40 materials because it's an FBX. And then I converted those over to Redshift materials, which you see here. And so all the mega scans assets i'm using 4k materials i don't have any lighting or anything in here i just have a redshift camera and so let's get into how we activate redshift rt now i found two ways to activate that first i'm going to come over here to where it says edit render settings so i'm going to click on this and then if i come down here to where it says redshift you see that we have two tabs here before it was just production which is our standard rendered for redshift and now we have rt which is gonna bring us our real-time capabilities in there. And so I'm gonna put it back on production because I wanna show you the second place that we can find it. So if I wanna come over here to where it says Redshift and then come down to Redshift Render View. Now we have our Redshift Render View viewport here in which you see I have the tab already selected here. I can select that off, I can select it on, and this RT stands for real-time. So if I click play on this button here, you can see down in the lower right hand corner, it's gonna say preparing materials and shaders. Depending on the type of machine you have, this could either go really fast or slow. I'm using a 2080 Ti in this machine right now. I'm not sure if the CPU makes a difference. I'm using a 3990 Threadripper AMD. And as you can see, my scene is already starting to come up here and it looks decent here. Like if I move my, let me actually wait for this to hit 100% before I start moving it around, which we did right now. So I'm just gonna move my camera around you can see the scene is pretty reactive here. I'm just gonna move my camera down a little bit. And so you can see inside of our render view here, it's actually working in real time. Now this isn't gonna be your final render. This is more for setting up your scene and everything. And so whenever you're ready to render out your final results, you will click off the RT and you will render out, you know, as you normally would inside of Redshift. But actually let me turn this down, my turn off RT. So I'll reset my scene here and actually let me add some lights into this scene and let's see how we can work with that. So I'm gonna come over to Redshift lights. I'm just gonna add an infinite light in here. Then I'm gonna come back down to my Redshift viewport. I'm gonna turn this back on and let's see how this plays out here. So while this is loading up, I can actually hit my Redshift infinite light, come over to coordinates can actually move this around a little bit you can see the shadows and everything moving in there in real time so that's pretty cool as well and then let's say like you're happy with how everything looks maybe you want your shadows casting onto your different monuments and everything in that way all you have to do is turn off rt and then i'm just going to render as normal inside of my viewport here and you can see that it's going to clean everything up and it's going to look a lot better here inside of our viewport so you can already see with the buckets, everything is looking as we normally see it with Redshift and everything looks good here. And so that's the one thing about Redshift RT. It's pretty good for, you know, aligning your shots, getting your lights in there, getting the scene the way that you want it to look all in real time. So you could get real time feedback in there. And whenever you're ready to render out, all you have to do is render out your offline rendering is normal and you should be good to go. So there is one thing I want to show you guys. This is actually on the Maxon's website. So I can leave this link inside the description below or down in the comments. But if I keep scrolling down here to the bottom, it actually shows you, you know, the Redshift RT is a public beta right now. And so it says it's a new rendering mode that provides near real-time rendering performance while using the same shaders, lights, and efficiency coexisting with the standard Redshift render engine. Perfect for artists using this for development process of a project or even final render if the project does not need the same amount of fidelity as a standard render. And so right now, what I'm seeing this being used good for is if you're not using anything with like displacement maps or maybe normal maps maybe if you have something with more like standard materials like maybe solid colors you know like a kind of like an abstract tune shading type deal 
you could probably use this in those regards similar to like eevee inside of blender and this is a perfect use case for something like that so and then if you want something for photo real you're probably going to use this for look dev it's really good and it's really fast and efficient for that type of stuff and then whenever you're ready you're going to use your offline render as you're used to to render everything out so i do have another scene that i built using all mega skins assets again everything is in 4k this time i'm inside of cinema 40 s24 i just wanted to show you that the redshift rt works in both versions and so this is another version of cinema i had installed on my machine so i figured why not show it to you guys so same thing as before two places to activate it if i come over here to render settings and then i come over here to redshift i'm going to click on redshift here and you can see render engine we have the two tabs just like how we had inside of 25 and then if i come over to redshift come down to my render view same exact thing here so i'm just going to click on play i just have like a bunch of mushrooms here inside of a cloner and i have some landscape for the dirt but as you can see it's giving us pretty good feedback here we can actually probably use some better lighting in here so let me close this down i'm actually going to add like a dome light just so i could throw a hdr in here so i'll go over to redshift come down to lights come down to dome light let me come back to adobe bridge and let's say let's see what i want to use for this one so let me actually make this full screen maybe this misty pines or maybe this river walk something that would be like inside of a forest so i'm just going to click and drag this into my little texture box right here under my dome light i'm going to click no here and then i'm going to open back up my render view port i'm going to click play and this scene is loading up a lot faster you can see actually that's a little bit bright let me bring this down to intensity like 0.5 and i think let me go back and change this up maybe i'll use misty pines instead yeah i like the way misty pines looks a lot better and you can see that it all changed in real time that was really cool to see how everything was acclimated there maybe let's bring up my intensity to 0 0.8 this is looking pretty good here and this is all inside of the real time here so i'm just moving my scene around everything is pretty fast it's pretty reactive let me turn off real time just so i could throw the buckets on and we could kind of see the difference between the two which for this particular scene it actually looks pretty spot on so the real time version does look a lot like the actual rendered version out here which is really impressive in itself because again this is in full beta but i'm getting pretty cool results here so if i move my camera around you can see that this is the way redshift used to work and it's not as reactive inside of your viewport you have to kind of place your stuff and then re-render it with the buckets but with real time you just have to wait for everything to prepare down here and there we go so just like that we have real time feedback everything looks good and inside my cloner everything is just on instance like i don't even have render instance so let me turn that on and see if there's going to be even a faster difference so it's about the same but again this is just a real simple setup that i have here but everything looks pretty good here so you can imagine if you throw a little bit of time in here making this forest look a lot more dense you know add some grass some rocks you could probably get some really cool looking stuff all working inside of redshift rt and i wanted to bring this up as well this is inside the redshift render community facebook group and so i saw saw here he made a post earlier it's kind of showing some of the stuff that's inside the beta right now like there's no multiple gpu support no depth of field displacement here um vdbs noise proxies and so this shows you that this is really a first beta that's going to be open to the public and which i think is really important because you know as you guys are using it hopefully you're giving feedback to the team there and they can only approve on it from there but i would imagine that everything that you see in here this is going to be added over time and so i would say you know keep trying it out with rt it's going to be really cool to see what you guys come up with i'm really impressed with what the redshift team did here so i'm excited to see what they do next so hopefully this first look overview is helping you guys out the best thing for you to do is basically jump in there no matter what version of cinema 4d you have you should update your redshift license and then you'll see the rt tab in there and you should be good to go as you know an artist like me i like staying on top of things and so i'm really excited to see what the redshift rt team is doing here because you know i use unreal a lot for rendering but i use whatever is best for the job so i still do use redshift for some client work it just depends on what i'm doing and so the more options out there the better 
So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, click this like button if this helped you out. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I catch you in the next video. I see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.